Yeah, so um, where where do I begin? <laughs> Fuck. So, I'd just like to talk to you about something that has really fucked me up recently. And to put an honest face on this. I have to admit that it, like a fair bit of this video is scripted. Um, that's just so that I can elaborate on points because I, I don't have the skills to just talk to a camera without a little bit of help. Um, Raffle is kind of similar to me in that aspect, I think. Um, he couldn't do it scripted. Um, and he wasn't very good without a script either. Um, yeah. So what can I say? We lost one of our greats. Sometimes shit happens. Like one of our most influential streamers ever. Falling into a spiral. You know, you need your rational self to be able to... Like, when, you, when you're depressed, you need to... You spin down, it's like, I want to hurt myself, so on and so forth. And then you pull yourself out of it by... But what about the people who love me? What about the people who follow me? Like, what about the people who um, support me? But until you hit the ra the rational stage, you are stuck in that emotional spiral where basically you just want to hurt yourself. And uh, until you hit the rational stage, you can't snap out of it. And unfortunately, what happens is is that you have a minute alone, and people can do anything. So there's no blame placed on family members or people who are around wreckful at the time that this happened, because essentially. If someone wants to kill themselves, they will. Um, if someone wants to get attention by hurting themselves, they won't kill themselves. And someone who actually kills themselves, they, they've well and truly passed over the edge. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck, I need a smoke. As streamers, we are constantly faced by our demons, our detractors. Even those look look those people looking for a crappy laugh at our expense. Like, I mean Yeah. Like just when Rackpool was like proposing to one of his exes and people were giving him you know, like sarcastic shit in Twitter. Um, that's a perfect example of what happens when people are just trying to have a cheap laugh. Cause do they know him personally? Do they know the girlfriend personally? Um or the ex-girlfriend? Do they know what's going through his head at the moment? No. They're just watching it. It's a, it's a spectacle. Wreckful <coughs> <coughs> was one of the first streamers I ever watched. Um, I've been in the gaming scene for nearly 20 years now. I started with Commodore 64. So I've made mods for Battlefield 1942, um, Morrowind. I've played every game from like Enemy Territory, Quake Wars, WoW, you know, League of Legends, fucking everything. Right. I play mostly um, like strategy games, single player games, and the odd FPS, mostly Battlefield games. I don't like COD that much, but I have made some videos for that. And, um, yeah, like, I've been around for a long time, so I know, I know what it's like. I've always been recording my own videos. Like, if my clan has a scream or something like that, I record it and I put it up for people to watch. But that's not for my own benefit for other people's benefit and that's what streaming is all about that's what content creation is all about I mean look at my room right normally I'd have a green screen behind me or something that's my bed that's my cat that's the pile of boxes and crap that I've got sitting over there and like keyboards that are half taken apart and everything <laughs> when you're into tech you're into tech and when you're a gaming you're a gamer and you can have that nice little wall behind you that's got all of your Commodore 64s. I have two in boxes. I have um, all sorts of crap, right? I typically don't use webcams on my streams. Um, 
and I typically don't include webcam video probably because of my own insecurities um, I like to be a voice but not to be a face and <coughs> that's what I do so and for Reckful unfortunately he's been placed straight up face to face with everyone and like I can I can absolutely see how depression wise that might have affected him um, especially the type of person that he is um, not unlike me really <sighs> look he was one of the first people I ever watched I'm sitting here with my crappy Aussie internet wishing I could stream my own stuff because we've been stuck with ADSL for ages which is like 3 megabit <laughs> it's unbelievable stuff we've we've got fibre to the house practically now but we're still restricted to like about 7,000 megabits per second for upload so we can do like one upload for a stream like that's basically all we can do at the moment Unless you have fiber, which is a different thing. You gotta pay a lot of money for that. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Look, the simple act of being a content creator is a path that many of us use to face our own failings and securities. Breckful is, was, and like is, was a brilliant individual. He led the way for many of us. He was one of the first people to actually make competitive um, gaming a thing on Twitch. Apart from, obviously, StarCraft 2 and um, League of Legends and Dota. But, like, he was one of the first people in WoW. And um, he was one of the people who pushed the, the Twitch platform so that we could keep going and going and going. This is before YouTube had, like, a, like a, a live streaming platform. So, like, I can upload a video of this to YouTube, but it's different from actually having people sitting there in a chat and me being able to go and talk to them, like, uh, using my, you know, using my mic. This is, like, a, a jury rig set up here. I've got, like, a really high-quality mic and, um, headset. Ask Technica. Gotta love it. Um, ask me ten years ago if I had had this stuff. Like, this is above my pay grade. <laughs> um, but, but despite all of this, we, we are here to make content for you. And, um... Rackful was here to make content for you. He... Like, that's, that was, that's what he wanted to do. That, that's what he liked doing. And, um... Yeah, it's just a really sad loss. Like, I, f I find it hard to get over it. I know, I know that I will get over it. Because, like, I've been through my own personal demons before. I've got, like, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder myself. Um, and I suffer from depression as well. And um, <laughs> I use this as a, a way to treat that. Um... And I, I still know that in some of my weaker moments, I could drop to the level where I could do something like what he did. Um, even Asmund Gold, like I was watching his video when he found out what happened. That's kind of the way that I responded. I didn't want to say anything until I had the right things to say. We're putting on a face, always. Like, we are trying to present this. We're trying to be happy and we're like, we're trying to, we're trying to get you involved. We're trying to be entertaining. You know, we're trying to help you experience the lives that we lead being basically otaku playing games from our home. You know, like, um, nothing wrong with that. And, uh, like, we're just trying to connect with other people 
Because honestly, if I go outside the door and I try to connect with people in like a pub, it's like, oh, how are you going, mate? How's your day been at work? You know, I drive forklifts for a living. That's what I do for a job when I'm actually working. <laughs> and um, none of them get it. There are all those, those times when the camera goes off, stream goes offline. And you have life. The real world. Reality can suck, even for the most successful of us. I don't know how to react to what's happened in the past 24 hours. I mean, you've had what's happened to Rekbal. Um I suppose I could even include Dr. Disrespect in that. Because, like, what the fuck is going on there? I have no idea. I hope he hasn't done anything too bad, but like I wonder why Twitch has just decided to cut all sponsorship for him. Like, I have no idea what's going on there. Some of the things that he was saying in his last stream, especially regarding um, a certain uh, Holocaust denial, <laughs> where, yeah, I mean, like you could tell that he was at the stage where he did not give a fuck what he said anymore. But this is a person who basically made a um, a uh, personality based on not giving a fuck what anyone cares about what he's saying. Um, but at the same time, like, he, he hasn't pushed that too far. I mean, like, he got banned back in 2019. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> but to get back to Rackful, um next time you think about making a shit post um, for a streamer um, when they're posting something on Twitch or like Reddit or anything like that remember that people actually read them and often the person that actually reads them is the person themselves uh, you can tell me to kill myself all you want I won't. <laughs> you know, like, one on the other cheek, that's fine, right? But in my worst moments, if you said that to me when I was really depressed, I'd probably, that might be a significant factor. And um, I think a lot of that's been building up for him. And, um, but at the same time, he has been under vigilant care like he has people looking after him all the time he has more care than a lot of us do um, and he found that little window where he wasn't in care to kill himself and that's how you know that they're serious about it yeah Someone like myself who sits in a stream room for years on end with only like two or three viewers at a time because I, I like to just sit there and play games and if people ask questions I'll answer their questions I, I'm not an entertainer I'm a gamer um, being very active in the modification scene um, Photoshop 3ds Max all that sort of stuff I don't get many viewers um, for for me, that's depressing. <laughs> but at the same time, the only reason why I ever started to do that is because of people like Rackville. Um, and like he, he was an inspiration to us all. And I just don't know. I can move on. I can move forward. And I'm sure everyone else can. And, um, but too soon. The guy was younger than me. I mean, I've been homeless twice. And, um, he had so much going for him. Why would you do that? It's a coward's way up. But at the same time, he was in the spotlight. And the spotlight can do it.
Anyway, a drink for you, Reckful. This is kill you, by the way. This is sugar wash. Uh, yeasty. And a drink for me. It was too soon, buddy. I hope you're at peace. I extend my condolences to the family and also to the fans. I hope we can all recover from this. As I'm sure that's what Wreckful would have wanted. I don't think he wanted attention when he did what he did. I think he just wanted to find peace. Anyway, peace out. Null element signing out. Gotcha.